Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Good Times with Toby Coon. I'm your host, Toby Coon. Hope you're all having an awesome time out there. Hope your your weekend was pretty good, your work week has been good. I know that with having to stay at home, some of us that do have to stay at home or just can't go out in some places, man. Just kind of hang in there, you know, it's going to be a bit of a ride, a rough ride for all of us. Eventually we will all be going through the same process, but... But regardless, though, I'm hoping that each and every one of you are pulling through and having a still trying to make the best of things. You know, I know it's terrible. I know it's, it sucks, really. We're all we're all in it. We're all in this together, and we're here to take care of each other. You know, you know, we might not all be there physically, but you know, just by spending a little bit of time on the you know online or watching a movie or something, just to pass the time. But again, hopefully you guys are all having a great one out there. In today's episode, we're actually going to be working. We're actually going to be playing a another game that might might have passed the radar for some of us, or some that haven't got to play it like myself. This game is called CY Girls. It's for the PS2. It's actually a pretty unique game because it's actually uh, um, divided into two different. Uh, each, I guess, the, the two main characters get two different games. Which continues their missions and everything else, but we'll really get into it. This is something. This is a real treat for me, and um, hopefully, it's a real treat for all you guys that haven't got to play it. So, without further ado, let's get started with CY Girls for the PS2. So, CY Girls was actually released back in March 23rd, 2004. This game was currently on the PS2 in Japan. It was released in February 19th, so it was a month before. So, and of course, Europe was May 7th, all released in 2004. So, the virtual plot is CY Girls is the story of CG 1 Nice and CG 6 Aska. So, of course, Ice being the genius hacker and firearms expert, of course, their mission is to destroy any information file in highly secured corporation buildings. Mostly, they're focusing in Buenos Aires. And CGI 6, Master Female Ninja, with an astonished death ability attempting to avenge the death of her father in Japan. Or she has to go to Japan. So their plot basically is one is to take down the all the information a very important information file in Buenos Aires, and the other is basically avenging her father's death and Taking that takes place all in, I guess, in Japan at this point. So that's basically the the plot to the game. It's really a simple and basic plot. But uh, yeah, the game has two discs. Of course, you one you play as CG dash one, which is Ice, and then you play disc two, which is CG dash six, Aska. So. Go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Let's see what we're let's see what we're up against. Let's see how let's see if this is gonna be a treasure or uh hopefully it's not a dud because I've been playing a lot of duds and I think this one's gonna be a pretty sweet treasure, I think. So I have pretty good faith in it. So let's go ahead and get started with C White Girls for the PS2. Alright, let's go ahead and hit it up. Let's see what we're up against. Let's see if this is gonna be a gem or if it's not gonna be a gem. It's really that good. I might consider doing a live stream of it, but we shall find out. We won't know till we try. So, so far, it's a good start. Look, Konami even produced it, which I should have mentioned. And Konami Computer Japan. Pull beast around. Nice. Taking a look at things here. I 
and yet my mic is picking up the background, isn't it? Alright, that's something I'll have to work on. Alrighty, so that was the intro to CY Girls. Let's see what we're up against now. Of course, I'd like to make sure my mulligan is always good. Let's give it that ProLogic 2 sound style. So let's press start. Let's go for a new game. We're gonna keep it normal. Let's let's make it fun. Yeah, if you see that little stretch, I'm gonna get a second here, guys. Just trying to keep the picture as as minimal as possible. All right, so all right, let's let's look. Let's do normal. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the novice mode. I'll let the camera do all the work. Instead of me controlling the camera. November 11th, 2058. On that day, all sources of electrical power supply shut down. In one short day of global electrical failure, the world's political and economic structures crumbled, and the entire planet felt a terror it had never known. This was Damnation Monday, the first great panic of the 21st century. 26 years went by. And liking it so far. It's pretty cool. All right, close your eyes, guys. It's 
right now if you're at home watching this the children children please send them to the clock to the room please <laughs> One five one meters. Wind from the northeast. Hey, you can smell the tide. Put a sock in it, will you? Okay, I'll run you through this again. All the personal information Net Justice manages is on their mother computer. They sell that information to use against people. They make criminal arrest records disappear and rewrite personal histories. And not even the best hacker in the world can get in from outside. So I have to go in and destroy it, huh? That's what the client wants. As easy as that, huh? I'll make sure to charge them plenty for this. Good luck. You went in. Okay. Communication is perfect. Let's confirm the objective. This net justice is in control of a huge volume of personal information. They are doing business with it by erasing or altering criminal records. Of course, security is tighter than you can ever imagine. Even the best hacker can get in from the outside. So you must destroy it from the inside. Anyway, you sneak in to destroy the personal information file. First, look for a terminal to dive into cyberspace, okay? Okay, let's get started right away. Go along the corridor you are in right now. I'm always monitoring you. Call me whenever you want to contact me. Okay. Move using the left analog stick. Use the like button to communicate with Sancho. Oh, so there's a Sancho in this game, huh? Oh man, you know where that's gonna go, okay, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, you guys know what I'm referring to, just drop a comment. So I got a bile charge, card A, shock teaser, shock teaser, that card. Alright, so let's stick with the bile charge. So apparently you don't use the analog. I mean, yeah, you don't use the analog. That looks to select apparently. Camera angle. Basics, okay. So the controls are nice, just the way I like it. Regular control. Okay, so know me well enough. No, I like to keep it all keep it all classic. Oh, that hit in the first try. Attack with the button, circle button or R1 button. The probability of hitting the target lowers while moving. Shoot after you stop. Oh, that's interesting. You just lay down. Gotta consider I'm used to using. You know, I get used to using the analog even though I wasn't a fan of it. I mean, you know. That's just like. Easy. Alright, so. Alright, not bad, not bad. It looks like we can't open it. Go closer and check. You can check it out with the square button while you are close to the door. Just try to look for items, you know. Every good player has to look for an item, you know. It has to be certain. Let's see what happens. He's a junk. <laughs> knock knock. Alright, let's do it. There. Uh, okay, I can use the button range. So it's circle. I remember guys, it's circle is shooting. This way. I can 
has a Resident Evil type of movie. Look at this. It has that style. Nice case is chilling. Yeah, that weapon. Must be a weapon of the security guard, which I already picked up. Please open menu using the start button. Select the weapon you want to use, press the X button. Possibilities. Guess there's nothing to open. Or there has to be. Yeah, the stalls. My eh, favorite part of the game. The Johns, the restrooms. And see what's out here. This is a unique looking room. <laughs> it's like it's all CGI'd. It's like if I'm in a green screen here. Hey, it's a security guard. Hi there. You can hide by pressing the L2 button after getting close to the locker. Business quite well. I did push the square button, ain't doing nothing for me. Let me just get in the sight. Let's just get this going. They didn't finish, didn't have enough budget to finish the background. Then. I mean, this game feels pretty good, and they have this crazy background. Get it, man. Chill. 
Let's keep moving around, I'm trying to get to know things. Trying to get some magical drinks. You know, something to chill while waiting. to the arsenal. Good find. The door is locked. You have the card key I gave you. If you use it, the door should open. Gotta get used to little mechanics here and there. It could be useful, let's take it. Uh, magical bomb. Bomb acquired. Small bomb is used by a tent, you get to a wall, etc. This explosion is directed the impact affects only the surface to which it has been attached therefore the person placing it is safe get it get you man thanks for this sweet description Sancho. <laughs> so, in other words, a little bit of Sancho, huh? Yeah, interesting. Alright, well. Not one judge, it's just observe. I never imagined a shutter being here. Well, we have no choice. You remember the control room on the way here. Go back there and operate the shutter. to the beginning then.
You remember the control room on the way here. Go back there and operate the shutter. Well, I guess I gotta follow that room. You'd better not get on that elevator. A security guard might come right away. Alright, Sancho. I can't do it. Sure that door doesn't open. Leave it and search somewhere else. Check it out if square button when you are close to the computer. Okay, the shutter seems to have opened. Back to the beginning, or the middle, or the end. Whichever way I'm going, guide dream. Target moving from 50th to 49th floor. Go after her. I want to see where she dove in. Yes, sir.
Attack! Just without the fun cheers at the end, congratulations. Upstairs. I hope. There's no type of food or anything, man. Makes it a little bit more crazier. It's cool to have a long vital bar, but I don't know what's the load I'm up against. Sweet looking jet copter. It's not as classic as Airwolf, but it's good enough. Card key be acquired. Card key used with net justice to open locked doors, etc. Door access changes depending on the variety of card keys. A card key. This is a high level card that is a security manager or equal might possess. Card key be acquired. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I get it, I get it. to read the card key information, but they make it that complicated too. Cleaning Robot Roomba. Zero, 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 user's manual. Thank you for purchasing Cleaning Robot Roomba 1000. Once set up and powered on, this Roomba 1000 will navigate cleaning rooms automatically. Several cleaning routes can be programmed and changed with its remote control. Moreover, if you can give it security clearance, it can release door locks and clean other rooms automatically. Nice. Clean robot. Then we get close. What's the problem, man? Trying to get to that little thing. Let me guess there's an invisible wall. Alright. Data modulator blue. Blue acquired for externally accessing a computer in an emergency. This is paired with a spe specific computer and will not work with any other device. Data modulator blue. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, little buddy, how you doing? You got data for me? Shoot you, it's bad. Alright. Oh, it's your buddy to show me. You could have told me that. We're friends, you know? You could just say, hey, someone's gonna attack you. 
No, you let them just come out of nowhere and let them destroy me. Hey, where's the lights? Either a badly finished game, it's either an unfinished game or something's not right. Be a light switch or something. And there's gotta be some food because my vitals are going down pretty bad. This is really a. Hmm. Alright. We'll go through the dark room. Your light? What time? Now they put the light on. more stuff. These guys are wearing like infrared glasses or and that's awesome, but otherwise it's not awesome for me because I'm literally just trying to get through the off background. Come on, give me a give, do me a solid, open up this door. Changed. The temperature cannot be lowered unless the control room is set to the proper temperature for proper temperatures. Please see the company bulletin board. Hey, don't touch it so hey, don't you don't touch know what will happen. You don't know what will happen. Alright, so for CY girls, what can you say about the game? It's pretty good, actually. It's a pretty good game. It's just a little bit unique a little bit stiff only because it's a new game to me but so far it's, it's got a pretty good story kind of got stuck at that point where we're just trying to see if that robot is anything if we could program that robot but other than that well this is just the way i see it um 
graphic wise, the graphics are pretty good. Um, pretty nice set of graphics. Just the fact that you're either playing with uh, with, with guards that have MBG on their goggles where you can't see the background, that's kind of annoying because you're bumping into things trying to get into the proper positioning or, or getting to know the whole, uh, you know, shooting from the from a hiding point. That was kind of weird. But the gameplay, I give it like a, I give it like a like an eight. So it's pretty good. The music is pretty cool. I like it. I like the music, the style. So music, soundtrack, the intro, the extra intro after that gives it a whole movie feeling. So it gives like a, a nine. As far as the graphics, graphics are pretty clean actually. Pretty nice looking graphics. I like them. I like the style. It's pretty cool. Graphics get like a like an eight. The storyline, the storyline is pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory what we have to do, but it's very extensive as you go into into more of the stage. So we did clear the stage, but it gets more uh, in depth, I guess, and that's where we have to kind of investigate the game a little more. So yeah, storyline gets an eight, but the overall for the game, I'd say an eight point five. It's one of these games you have to, I have to really get into, and I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of getting to know the, the dynamics and the basics of the actual game to really get into it. So overall, yeah, I would definitely recommend See White Girls. It's pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. I just have to really get into it. As far as me doing the live stream, I really got to get to know the game before I before I expose it to an uncut, you know, environment. So that way when I play, at least I won't be stuck on one thing for hours and that'd just that would be just a waste of everyone, right? Everyone's the time just watching me getting stuck on that one path until I get to know the game really good. But yeah, I do recommend CY Girls. I know I was looking into it, I think this game runs about like under I see about twenty bucks shipping. It's not that bad. But yeah. If you happen to have a copy, even better. Just pop it on your PS2 and go from there. Otherwise, if you don't, just run it on your PC. If you can handle it, perfect. So yeah, this is pretty much my take on CY Girls for the PS2. All right, well, once again, thank you guys for joining me and reviewing CY Girls. Thank you, for, thank you for always coming on by. I know we're all going through a tough time together. And we're kind of all isolated at this point in time, having to stay at home more, having to not be able to interact with our our awesome friends. Of course, we inter we interact with them a different way, you know, through good old Skype or just a group messenger, but just in text. And know, uh, until things come down, hopefully we'll be able to get back to our regular regular lives and hang and go out a little bit more and enjoy people, enjoy humanity a little bit better. I know that people are very you know, they've become more wearing masks and everything just to keep the keep everything away, but we'll get through this and hopefully it'll be better days coming coming by in the next month or so. Hopefully we'll finally get get a lift out of it. You know, we still gotta be careful, but at least to where we could actually interact and enjoy the yeah, just enjoy it. Company man. Company does make a big difference in lives. For those of you that are either married or with someone, yeah, be thankful, man, that everyone is. So, until next time, guys, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Daddy.